Um, yeah, so I mean, we're super excited to be able to welcome everybody back to New Zealand. Um, or, and certainly as many as we can, the border is open now to many countries. And then um, to those not on the we uh, visa waiver program, they'll be able to come and apply for visas after the 31st of July. Um, so after that date, then everybody can come. So that's that, that'll be really cool. Really cool to have everybody back. Um, I've certainly missed having everybody here and, you know, faces that have been and trained with us before. We're excited to see them coming back and see all the new faces too. So, um, so this year we have all our uh, courses running and in fact we're the only training program that's continued running all of our training programs all the way through the, the pandemic in New Zealand. So, um, and we've been really busy with it actually, which has been pretty cool considering we've only really had New Zealand and a little bit of Australia at times. So, yeah. Um, so we've got level one courses and level one and two courses or just level two if people have their certifications already. And that's for the SBINZ, so for snowboard and also through NZSAA for ski. And we've also got level three programs running as well, both for snowboard and for ski. Um, so if people have a level two qualification that's recognized as equivalent um, or an NZ or SBINZ one, then that's, then that's great too, of course. Um, so yeah, we've got courses that run anything from three weeks up to 10 weeks in duration, and some even longer as well. And just depending on what courses you're looking at doing, whether that is, um, yeah, the entry level or more advanced. Um, yeah, I think that would be most of it. I don't know if you had other questions on that. Yeah, um, so um, just give me a minute. Let me ask yeah. if anyone needs translation at this moment. Yeah, uh, I was just no, gonna yeah. say just do translation and I can slow down and break it up a little. <laughs> <laughs> <音>对其实那个今年我们这一趟讲的那个是 已经已经这个时间都是差不多可以去了。如果是中国内地的朋友，就是那些有申请visa的人，就是七月三十一号以后，他们才可以开始申请。啊，所以就大概就是这样子。所以如果今天大家想要问的那个，其实就是NCS系
如果学科好的时候，他们还是会跑去哪里训练的。哦、oh, ，So if we are going to triple cone, then it's more like for the free riding or like um mogul、yeah. training and sort of like that, right? Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, so, uh, 如果是去 triple cone 的时候呢，那那个就大部分都是去那个呃， uh, 去那个呃呃呃呃呃呃，那个呃， uh, 训练那个 free ride 就是那个 free ride， 不知道是什么，对啊， uh, 野雪跟那个蘑菇的那种<笑>那个训练怎么同那个 free ride 的中文是什么、啊？呃，自由滑行嘛，我也不知道。<笑>好的，啊、uh, ，好的。嗯、um, ，so so how would be the okay? So we have just talked about that. So um, some of them asking about the transportations to to like like if they got their own accommodations or if they need to book the accommodations and also, um, so how would be the Transportation and then the housing, because this year I think a lot of people are find it pretty difficult to find the accommodation still. Yeah, that's right. It is pretty tight. We've got package options for the courses that are like our current courses that are in English only, so the ones that are already have dates and things with them.、Um, are they asking for those ones or for if there was a translated exam? Um. Well, let's. Well, actually, let's let's get the picture of both, and then so 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 it would be easier for them to, for us to, because we will divide the YouTube video into different titles, and then so, oh, so you're this type of people, then go and check that check that section of、All、the、right. video out. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um for the. Translated one. Then once we know, you know, dates and things that we can do that, then、um, yeah, then we would be able to help with arranging the transport and accommodation so that it was a package.、Um, and currently, we also have packages for all of our other courses. So there is accommodation and transport five days a week up the hill. They can add on extra if they want more days.、Um, there is public. Buses that go up Cadrona, at least there isn't public ones that go up Treble Cone. There is from Wanaka up Cadrona, so they can do that.、Um, so yeah, so we've got options. Accommodation is very limited, though, so we don't have many rooms left, but there is still some. Okay. Oh, oh. So can I ask? Um, for the five days, is it like um, it's it's set at which five days, or is like within a week, then they can use five five days for. For, to transfer、oh. to the resorts, it's it's Monday to Friday.、Um, oh, okay. And then because weekends tend to be busy now on the mountains, which they didn't used to be here, but that's changed in the last two years since the pandemic. So,、um, so yeah, so it's Monday to Friday, and any weekend days that their exams are on. Hmm. Okay. 啊、uh, ，对，然后呢，这里其实的，其实今年大家也知道，去这个、这个、这个纽西兰的那个问题，就是那个啊、呃，住宿有点难找嘛。然后啊、呃，现在如果是定 IT 师的哪一种的，他们的课程的那个时候，其实他们也有全包的，啊、呃，然后也有一个交通要上。交通，他们是一个星期安排五天的交通，就是星期一到星期五的上山的那个巴士，然后就是其他的，他说也有那个公共的啊、呃、交通可以上山，嗯、呃，然后就是呃，对，同理有补充吗？嗯、呃，他上山的话，因为我没去过 ITC， 所以不太理解。那呃，周末的话，它是有另外的车子上山，是吧？哦，对对对，他说哪里也有一个公共的巴士是可以上去，要预约吗？啊、嗯嗯、，so um for the weekend, if they want to go up to um Cadrona, is that like they can take the public bus, or that would also be transportation? And do they need to reserve it before, like like, or or they can just pop in and 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 Just like 
oh, I want to go today, and then they just go and wait at the bus stop. What would that? How would that work out? Yeah, they'd need to reserve it um, at least the day before. Um, maybe more in advance. We don't really know because we haven't had the borders open to know how busy things are going to be. But normally, you'd reserve it the day before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK， 哦、uh, ，对，如果这是其他星期六、星期天上山的时候，他们也是可以提早一天预约上山的巴士这样子。所、so, 以不知道会不会很快慢，可是就是先看一下他们开关以后会是怎么样吧。对，呃、uh, ，可以吗 ？Right, the is the bus is the bus um for free or on the weekend? Yes. Uh, no, it's extra cost. So those are thirty-five New Zealand dollars、um, oh. return per day.、Uh, okay, the Cardona、uh, pay bus, right?、Uh, yeah, you you would pay the the bus. You would pay Cardona、okay. bus. Yeah, yeah. Yes.、Yeah. Thank you. Okay. 对，呃，然后上山的巴士，如果是周末的那个，就是三十五块钱。啊、uh, ，New Zealand dollar 的一天这样子的，嗯、um, ，对 ，so so what about the accommodations? How would that be? This like the this like a two person room or or in a dorm or or how how is it?、Okay. Yeah, so we've got、um, generally two person rooms. We do have some one person rooms. They're mostly gone, but yeah, otherwise two person rooms. And all shared facilities. So there's everything there. There's Wi-Fi for internet for free. There is、um, all the kitchen facilities and everything you need in the kitchen. Shared living area, shared bathrooms and things. And it's about a five-minute walk to to the shops and to town, and directly across the road from the lake. So beautiful views. Wow. Ah,、uh, 对，住宿的时候呢，如果是订 ，excuse me, um. 如果是订他们的全包的那个 package 的时候呢，那那个就是他们有二人房，也是有一个人的房间，一个人的房，一个一人房的那个已经差不多没有了，呃，大部分都是两人房，然后其他的那些呃那些房子里面的那些 facility facility 是什么？呃，设设施都是共用的，<笑>对。对吧？对,、啊、对公用公用的，然后就是呃 ，WiFi 免费啊，这样子的。然后就是在湖边，呃，就是走五分钟就可以去很多的店，这样子的的的一个住宿，对吧？对，嗯，对 ，OK， 嗯，哦 ，Yes， 嗯、um, ，I've got one just sent me a message， 嗯、um, ，He want to ask。Um, is SB if those who got New Zealand Level Two snowboard, um, SB and I said too, is it that they have to take the car seat too before they can enroll for if they want to take the car seat Level Three? Um, um that one、sorry. I need to check with Cassie. I don't know what Cassie's rules are because each organisation sets their own rules. And they can change at any time. So, yeah, he'd need to, or he or she would need to check direct with Cassie. Okay. Um, 我刚才问的那个问题，就是因为有人问过一个问题，就是说，如果他是 NZ 二级的单板教练，然后他要去考三级的加拿大系统的，那那个他们还是要再考一趟。加拿大二级的呃 level two 才可以去考那个三级，然后我刚刚问悠悠，他就说这个我们要自己去跟啊、呃、加拿大系统的去去去去确定。嗯，我想问一下，就是他师资哦，对对啊，哦、uh, yeah， so can you let us know how would Who would be the 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 trainers of this year's? Um. Well, we've got. Oh gosh, we've got most of the trainers in the country work at um work for for us. So, um,、oh. <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah, probably around half of them do. So, um, 
there is, let's see, there's John Gass, John Gass. Cam, Cameron Mason, um, there's Felix Lampierre, and who else is there? Gosh, there's a lot. Well, there's myself and Rachel, and there's Matt Lewis, there's um, uh, there's Naoko Asui, um, there is, trying to think of everybody off the top of my head now. <laughs> um, so these are ski ones, I'm trying to go through the ski ones and then I can go through the snowboard ones, you see. Um, and oh, there's a, yeah, there's a whole bunch more as well, really. Um, there's Shani um, as well. So we've got a few female and a few male Ooh. trainers, which is really cool. Wow. Got a of each, so that's that's pretty exciting. Um, <laughs> and snowboard, we've got um, Greg Sampson, Luke Gillett, um, Claire may come in and do some potentially. Um, mm. And uh, that's Claire Dooney. And we've got Kyle Castoris and ooh, oh and carlo um and yeah there's probably a few others that i haven't thought of as well within that but yeah um and then some that will kind of dip in you know as and when they can so yeah Great. there's quite a lot so <laughs> that's the list wow yeah <laughs> i don't have the list in front of me so i'm just trying to think of everybody <laughs> sure i've missed many okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've got one. They are asking what sort of um, how good they have to be if they want to take the level one. Oh, yeah. um, if they want to take the level one course, because uh, yep. there's yep. one thing so, who told me they can do side sleeping for now. Um, so, <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, they, they can't turn or link turns yet. Um, I I will ask. I'm trying to ask for a video and see if, if there will be time for them to improve it before they they come over. So, yeah. but um, yeah, they just ask like how how good they have to be for enrolling to the level one courses. Yeah. So basically, um, they have to be able to link turns down like a blue terrain or easy blue terrain, and that's whether they're a skier that need to be parallel or a snowboarder linking their turns. Um, we have had people come that haven't had a lot of experience on ski or snowboard before, and they've come out and they'll come out a little bit earlier than the courses and do some practice and do like some lessons, sometimes some group or private lessons before the training starts. So that way we can make sure they're, they're really up to speed and, and able to slot in and fit in really well. Okay. 哦、uh, ，对，刚才就是问了一个，就是如果有人想要考一级的考证的时候，那要求是什么呢？他就说，其实就是最小也要在一个中级道上可以 link turn 下去，不管是 ski 还是 snowboard。如果觉得勤劳不够的时候呢，那他们是可以先去呃哪里先上课，上一个就是。私人的课这样子的，然后就是走在去考证。Um, so, so if people they are trying to come over for the um level two exam, then the, like for the skis, how what what standard and what ski and snowboard, what standard they they should be, and how many hours of teaching do you? Do you suggest them to to have before they come over and join the level two training? So for the level two, they don't have to have done any teaching before. Um, if they have, then that's a that's a bonus um, for sure. That'll make their lives easier. But if they haven't, then yeah, not necessary. For their skiing or riding, basically they need to hold a level one qualification that's recognised as equivalent. Um, even though, as everyone knows, there's variances within the different qualifications, but basically if they hold a NZ SIA or SBI NZ level one or CASI or CSIA level one or AASI or PSIA level one, um, 
probably some others as well, like the BASE level one, then those are recognized as equivalent. And that way they can slot in and go direct to level two. Uh, 然后他刚才就说 um, so is there any differences between these exams with those who was held before the pandemic? Um, any 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 rules like um, for COVID or any any requirements or any any regulations that are going to apply to the exams or the courses this year? Um, that relate to COVID, you mean? Uh, yeah, well, some, some, some in some countries, it's just more like if you're showing any signs of like cold or flu or not feeling well, and then you can't take the course because, and then so, so this is just want to know if there's anything re regulations to all these like symptoms of, yes, yes, or, yeah, yeah, no, there is. So that is if anybody gets sick, um during the course with symptoms that are like the cold or flu symptoms, then yes, they they need to be um, removed themselves from the course um, so that they don't pass anything on basically, because yeah, so that is that is one of the rules. Okay. Yeah,其实今年也就是有疫情以后的关系,所以其实就是如果你在课程中间有什么就是很不舒服的那种表现出来,那你就有可能就要不能再考下去了。所以大家去的那个时候还是要多多保重身体哦。and that one, I was going to say, isn't a new rule. That was always something that we've had in there, that if anybody's sick for any reason, then we'll remove, you know, they'll remove from the course. Right,可是其实这个也是从前,也就是如果有什么很不舒服的那个时候,也还是会让他们说,还是不要再强加这样子的。<coughs> oh, the other part of that is if they do get sick and need to be removed from the course, then they'll get a refund for the days they haven't done yet. So say, for example, they get sick um, at the end of day one and it's a level one, so there's four more days, they'll get refunded four days. Okay. Oh, uh, so if you are... 如果你时间外不舒服，然后就是有什么问题的原因，然后让你不能在上课的时候拿你没有上的那几天，他们都会把钱退给你。对的，啊，那那可以可以问一下，可以问一下他那个呃，如果说这个training的过程可能是可能五
。对，然后刚才 Sherry 就问了一个问题，就是如果我们只是中间有一个星期是生病，是几个星期的 training 嘛，所以如果只是有一个星期不舒服，然后哪个星期不可以上课的，那怎么办？他说：“我们也会，他们也会让你知道那个星期是发生什么事情啊、呃。如果只是中间有一个星期不能上，那就只退哪个星期，其他的时间还是可以再上课的。可是大家也知道，在国外生病的那个时候，其实就是你的旅行保险的发挥作用的时间了。所以其实大家就最重要就是记得买旅行保险，然后这个保旅行保险是可以呃。”帮你付你在哪里的所有的医疗费用的，对，啊，就哦 ，so um how would be like the training pattern for um for for these level one two three courses? It is like yeah. um yeah yeah generally. So what we do for the levels one and two, the obviously not the translated one, because if we do a translated level one course, that would be set up. For the people specific on that, but for all our other courses, level one and two, they train Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday each week.、Um, do you want me to pause so you can translate? Or, uh, 然后他们 yeah, thank you. Um,、uh, 然后他们一级跟二级的考证的那个训练是，<咳>如果是没有带啊、uh, 翻译的那个，就是普通的那个英文课程。他们就是每个星期一、二、四、五可以上课。啊、uh, ，Yes， 啊、uh, ，I just done with the translation. You can keep going. And then they also during, especially the level two training, they'd have one evening session a week in Wanaka, normally on a Monday or Tuesday evening. 啊、uh, ，然后呢，在在如果你考的那个是二级的那个 training 的时候，他们每一个就星期都会在星期一还是星期二的晚上，在 Wanaka 的镇上会有一个晚上要上课的一一个晚上的 workshop 之类的。对，啊、uh, ，Yeah， we we I just done the translation. Keep going. And then, so that would leave.、Um, you can have Wednesdays and weekends. Either you can have them as days off. Um, which is why we leave the weekends free from transport because we think it's important people have time off to keep healthy as well.、Um, or they can shadow the lessons and get to see what the instructors and some of the experienced instructors do, or they can go and practice their skiing or riding. Ah,、uh, 然后呢<咳>，所以他们就是一个星期准备了四天，你是上课滑行的，然后。星期三跟星星期六、星期一天都是收拾的，在这两天收拾的这两天呢、啊，他就说你们可以，呃<咳>、uh, ，你们可以收拾，还是无言的手，你也可以去跟着 Don Shadow Shadow 的是 Shadow 去看别教练怎么教课 ，Shadow 的中文我不懂，啊、uh, ，对，可是大家应该也知道。嗯、um, ，然后呢？然后不然的时候，你不想去 shadow 的时候，你也可以在哪些时间，你也可以去练习你的滑行。对，啊、uh, ， yes， you can keep going. Well, um, and then, then obviously the exams. The level one is normally Monday to Friday, and the level two exam is seven days done over eight for ski or six straight days for snowboard. Uh, 然后呢？如果是 level one 的考证，那个就是星期一到星期五这五天去考证。然后如果是二级的考证呢？那那个双板是八天里面有七天的考试。然后，另外，如果是单板的，那就是直接一考考六天。Okay, so yeah, and then、um, and then for the、uh, the other thing is with the level one and two course, when you do that together, there is a one week gap between when the level one exam finishes and the level two training starts. And so we've done that so that people have some time to go and enjoy their skiing or riding. 
they can go off and travel if they want, or there's other courses that could be on in that time, like children's certificates and that sort of thing. So it gives them um, lots of options. Um, if you want to level one and level two, Nai Another option is during that week is if they um, wanted to shadow, then they can shadow in that week, and that way, when they're in their training time, then they can use their, you know, their three days as more as days off or more training days, so that they don't have to do shadowing as much. Then. 不然呢？如果你是考过一级以后，你也可以用哪一个星期来去当你的。在你的教学经验就是去做 shadow 啊，那这样子的时候，你在以后在上课的那个时候，你就可以多一点休息的时间，因为我已经有一点经验了。Yep. And then the level three training. Um, so for ski it is six weeks, for snowboard it's four weeks, and they're three days a week. Um, so they've got three days of training, and that way they they've got more time. To be off and really work on what they've been doing in their training, so they need more of that when they're looking at improving to that higher level. Ah, 然后如果是到了三级的那个训练的那个时候呢，他就是一个星期里面只有三天的训练，然后其他的时间呢，就是让你自己去练习，因为那个时候已经是有你多练习去。让你自己有一个更高层次的一个世界了。Tony 要补充吗 ？And then the other thing is,、um, for both the ski and the snowboard, before the training starts, is there is the workshops or pre-courses that are run by NZSIA and SBINZ. If they wanted to do those, they can book themselves onto those. And the same for the exams. The exams happen just after those training periods end. So again, totally optional. And we've got people on the courses that are just purely wanting to get better. They're not doing exams, and some that are aiming for the exams. Ah, 然后呢？如果是你是啊，在在课程以前，他们是有一些一些啊。Prep course 就是准备的一些，再有一些准备的一些呃呃呃课程的那个，你也可以去先把那个做了。然后，如果是考证以前，你也想要有一些这样子的多一点的准备的时候，那你也可以选择去去去去去把这些去做了。对。And、um, then the other thing on that note is that. Uh, people doing those courses and from the level two and three、uh, not necessarily hold NZ qualifications. So some of them are coming in with either、um, Canadian, American, British, all sorts of different qualifications, but they're going into those courses. Some of them will want to sit the NZ exams, and some of them will choose to go、um, back to their countries or back to the countries where. The certifications are from and do their certifications later. So totally individual choice. Ah, 对，如果是三级的那个，这这是课程的时候，就是你也可以，就是有些是其他系统的，你也可以选择不在这里去考那个 answer 的系统的考证。然后啊，你可以选择就是只来这里训练，然后再回去自己的国家。就是自己本来的系统哪里去考证，这个也是可以的，就是完全是按你自己自己想要的。Oh, so for these um level three, is it is it like it's just for training, right? The 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 I can I see some of them like there's only training, is it? And they、yeah. have to enroll it by themselves for the exam. Exactly, yeah, because we've found that、um, a lot of people prefer to just do the training. Many aren't ready for the exam, so they don't want the exam included. So therefore, we've left it for them to decide and and sign up to those things and independent. Yeah.
呃，对，刚才问的那个就是，所以其实就是因为很多人到了三十的情况下，已经是很想要，呃，就是因为准备的是准备是有多很多嘛，所以其实他们有些就是觉得，啊、呃，这趟来我只是想要，呃，想想那个呃训练，然后就是，所以他们这个课程里面是只有训练，就没有考证的，你要另外自己再去报考证。Uh, um, and then the a couple of other things. One thing is good to know is that、uh, we have quite a lot of our trainers, quite a few、uh, trainers and examiners, not just in NZ systems, so not just SBINZ or NZSAA, but also in other、um, certifications. For example, BASE examiners. Um, and trainers and CSIA and PSIA, so they hold, they all hold the New Zealand、um, trainer certification and/or examiners, but some of them are also hold ones from other countries as well. Um, that, uh, 有一点要注意的就是说他们的 ITC 他们这边的考教官的话，他们不只是 NZ 系统的，那他们有其他系统的，比如说加拿大呃加拿大的 CSIA 系统。那还有英国的 BASE， 然后美国 PSIA 系统，就是它有各不同国家系统的教官是呃一起在帮忙做训练的。所以他刚才就是前面又有提到说，就是他这个三级的这个 program 的话，它是不不包含考试嘛。所以很多人是过来参加完训练之后，回到自己的国家考自己国家系统的考试。所以就是因为他们有不同系统的。教官一起来做这个呃考试的培训，这样子。对。And the other thing is that the、um, with the exams that whilst the for example the level one and two includes the exams, the trainers will have a look at where you're at as you get near the time, and as long as it's more than ten days out, and I'll always let you know well before that. If it looks like you're not close to the level, like you're a long ways off, they'll let you know. So you can choose to either do the exam or not, or they'll let you know, you know, if you're around in a good place to go, that sort of thing. So it's basically it's your choice, and if you choose not to do it, then we'll easily just refund you the exam fee. Oh, ah,、uh, 对，然后还有一个就是说，为什么一级跟二级会包含？考试呢，就是他们的费用是包含训练跟考试，主要是说一级跟二级的话，就是呃这些教官跟考官就是会一直看着你，然后他会直接告诉你说你离，比如说你一级考试要到，他会说你大概离一级考试还有多远。如果你觉得那他告诉你，那你觉得差的有点远，你不想参加这个考试的话，他会把这个考试费用退给你。对，一级二级的话是可以这样操作的。Um, if it's with the translated exams, then we can't do that just because they require a minimum of eight people in each group.、Oh. So obviously, it's not so easy to pull people out unless we've got somebody else that can replace them. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 那如果你是参加那个我们中文班的，就是有翻译班的话，那你可能就没办法选择要不要考试了，因为就是我们一般就是最少就是要八个人。那呃，如果是参加中文的翻译的班级的话，就是你必须要参加全部的培训加考试。Yep. Oh, um, um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I have one question. Um, one guy asked, like, it would be more expensive to join the translated course. Yes. Yeah. It would be because um, then we have the added costs of translation and things with it. So um yeah, it does cost more. 对，然后呢，如果是要参加那个中文班的，那个费用会比较高一点，因为中间还要有人要去，就是中间有翻译的那个人、那个、那个人在，然后就是也有多一点时间，所以那个的价格呢，如果是有兴趣的，那就那就问一下吧，那那个就跟我们讲，然后再帮你问吧。<笑>然后呢？嗯、um, ，Oh yes, um, that's one also. Um, if that's like park training, hmm. If if our、oh, park training, yeah. Um, so there is in the snowboard side of things, it's there is some park training within the course itself. Um, 
And then we also, on ski or snowboard, we offer during the level two training time an extra on the Wednesdays normally, like a, a normally a half day session because we don't want to tire people too much. Um, we offer an extra half day through those weeks. And so you'd sign up for like a block of four, four of them to be able to just concentrate on on that. Uh 通常這是訓練就是在星期三的半天的課這樣子只要有四個人這樣子就已經可以舉行就是可以辦這樣子的訓練了對所以就是如果特別有興趣去考公園的朋友可以考慮一下因為Kedrona的Park也是挺讚的
。对，因为其实 New Zealand 政府也很像很多人去嘛，所以其实他应该会把这个弄得很快的。可是就是还是不能说，就是没还没到那个时间的，也不可以说会怎么样。Because um, some of them they are asking like it would be they would be trained by the examiner of the of the exam. Um, possibly. Basically, it's a little bit different from what we do when we've done our courses in China, for example, where the trainer also ends up being the examiner, or swaps groups with somebody and takes somebody else's group from the training for the exam. Here, because we've got. All of the trainers and examiners here, generally speaking, they'll probably have somebody different at the exam than what they've had in the training.、Um, but it could still be possible for one or two people they get the same. Having said that, we always try and make sure they have different trainers in the training, so they get to learn from different people.、Um, we like. To keep the continuity, so you have the same trainer for a week, ideally more like two weeks or so. Um, but yeah, so hope so. It should work out that they'll get different trainers and examiners, basically. But their trainer could also be, or generally always is, an examiner within the alliance as well. Okay. Ah,、uh, 对，然后刚才问的就是有人问他们会有机会是他们的考官当他们的训练官嘛？然后他就说，因为其实差不多几个新西兰办过，半个新西兰的那些呃 trainer 都会在他们那里，所以其实就是很有机会，你的 trainer 也会是你的 examiner， 所以这这是考官。是，可是就是因为很多，真的挺多的，所以其实也应该不愧是你的训练员当你的考官啊。可是就是他中间训练的情况是怎么样？通常都是一个 trainer 跟教你们一个星期这样子，然后就让你们尽量在课程中跟不同的 trainer 去上课。对，还有吗？嗯、um,。So,、um, is there anything you want to tell us about, Yo Yo?、Um, I think the biggest thing is that it is,、um, if anybody hasn't been to New Zealand before and experienced skiing here, it's a, it's it's quite a a unique experience because you live in town where it's beautiful, it's on the lake, you can go hiking and biking, or, you know, do. Play golf. You can do all that sort of thing because there's no snow, and then you drive up to the mountains where the snow is, but there's no trees, so there's no tree line. It's all wide open, so that's quite different from a lot of places. Ah,、uh, 对，如果你是没有去过 New Zealand 哪里滑雪的朋友，其实就是这趟去是一个很不同的感觉。第一，就是 New Zealand 很漂亮。呃、uh, ，而且在哪里你也可以有不同的不同的活动可以去做。然后我们现在去的那个瓦纳卡其实也是一个很著名的旅游景点嘛，所以其实就是你上山的那个时候也会有不一样的景色。啊，哦，哦，哦 ，yes， 啊 ，one one one question， 嗯，嗯 ，the transportation from the airports， 嗯、um, yeah. ，so。So they have to figure out the, their own way to go to Wanaka, and then, and then, or or how how does it work out? Like if they go to, from the、um, the closest airport is Queenstown, right? Yeah, that's right. So it's just one hour to Wanaka from Queenstown.、Um, there's a shuttle that does the that goes back and forth.、Um, so there's there's a couple of shuttles each day that they can get to to come to Wanaka. It's about thirty dollars each way. And、um, yeah, that's that's pretty easy as far as that goes. They just might want to check the times of their flights、um, with the times of the shuttles to make sure those work. Otherwise, they might need to overnight somewhere if if it you know if they arrive quite late, for example, into Queenstown. So after they arrive at Vanakur, there would be pickups or, or or to the to the accommodations or or, or how does it work? So I think they can book a drop off with the shuttle. So the because、oh. the drop off can drop off,、um, the shuttle rather can drop off to accommodations.、Um, oh right. So, yeah. 
啊、uh, ，对，然后呢？刚才问的那个就是啊， uh, 如果是订了他们住宿的那些那些朋友，你们是怎么去呢？就是，呃、uh, ，最近啊，瓦纳卡的机场是 Queenstown， Queenstown 到瓦纳卡只要一个小时，疫情的机场巴士是三十块左右。如果一个一天里面有几趟的，如果你是要，嗯，这样子去的时候，最好就是自己先看好去,去 Queenstown 的那个机票，啊、嗯，就是不然的时候你就可能要在那边附近睡一天，睡一晚了。然后你订了巴士的时候，你是可以跟他们订一个 drop off， 直接去住宿的地方的，所以还是挺方便的。嗯，对，对，都可以嘛。Yeah, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> the, other, the other thing is,、um, they do pick up and drop off for sure at the lakefront,、um, and it's probably about a five-minute walk to the accommodation from there. So they could either walk it or take a shuttle, or yeah. So there's different options. 对，到了以后你可以，因为大概是五分钟走路嘛。如果是这样子，你可以选择走路过去，还是就是。啊，坐那个 shuttle bus 去也可以的。嗯，就是他，我补充一下，就是他那个巴士是在那个湖前面，瓦纳卡湖那边一定会有一站是停在那里的。所以如果他他的就是之前的话，那个巴士是有停在呃 ITC 他们住宿的门口。那现在呃今年的话不确定，大家可以上他的网站看一下。如果不知道网站的话，之后可以问我们。然后。如果他没有停在那个他们 ITC 提供住宿的住宿的门口的话，那你就可以在湖前面那边下。那走过去的话，五分钟也是蛮蛮近的。嗯，好的。Yeah, we are done with the translation for this part. Oh,、um, um, yeah, and I think the other thing that's really good to know is it's also a lot about the experience here. So it's again. Um, a big thing that we focus on is the experience people have. So it's not just about the the training and the trainers and all of, and the exams, but it's also about experiencing the area and the people and just really getting to know each other, having a having good connections. So they'll often like people will leave with friends from all different places around the world, and it, it's really quite unique.、Um, Yeah, and the other thing is that we are very connected to the、uh, snow sports school, so they get the opportunity to meet and get to know people in the snow sports school and instructors that are directors or owners of their own companies around the world. So yeah, it's quite a quite a really really different thing and a, a lot of fun. Ah,、mm. uh, 对。他刚才说的那个就是其中一个很好的，就是要去哪里体验一下哪里的哪里的经验吗 ？Experience 怎么讲？呃，对，就是就是瓦纳卡是一个很小小的镇，然后他们跟那些啊、呃、行业里面的那些 snow sports school 关系很好。嗯、um, ，对，那个就是因为在这里的时候，其实呃，除了滑雪，它还有很多不同的、不同的一些、一些、一些活动可以去。然后就是除了这样子呢，它还有就是他们跟那些啊啊滑雪学校关系很好。然后在里面呢，你在这里你可以认识很多人来自不同地方。如果你要认识一些是滑雪，很有可能你在哪里认识的人，可能是滑雪行业里面的一些老大，他可能是一个滑雪学校的老板，然后就是管理员这样子，所以其实这是一个非常好的经验，让你去，呃，今日这个行业，大概是这样子吧。Um, yeah, I think I almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's people often ask about if they don't have equipment about renting equipment. Here, it's definitely cheaper to buy than it is to rent when you're here for a you know that period of time, and it's also important you have the right equipment when you're trying to pass a professional exam. 
So we have um, some of the local stores here are really good and support the program um, by offering good discounts of like 20 to 30% off gear. Ooh. So there are options to buy things when they get here if they don't have it and then they don't have to travel with it. Um, but we'll also help them out and make sure they get the right stuff because it's important they have the right things to be able to succeed as well. And they got uh, the free locker in the Cadrona, right? Yeah, exactly. So they can leave their skis, boots, boards and things up in the mountain. It's shared with some others from the course, but there's boot dryers and everything up there. So oh. yeah. Oh, 对，他刚才就是补充了一点，就是那个呃呃滑雪板啊器材的问题，就是如果你是没有自己的滑雪板的时候，那你去这么长时间，当然就是去买比你租会更好，而且他们跟当地的一些店有很好的关系，就是他们非常支持他们的这个是训练，就是你可以也有两七到八折，对对。的的的的折扣，折扣力度去拿到这些装备。那他有说到，就是因为你现在的雪板不一定适合你考试。如果你不确定你的雪板适不适合考试，你可以问我们啊，或者是问我们，然后我们再去帮你跟呃考官确认。那如果不适合的话，就是建议你直接过去那边买，啊，你就不用自己带雪具。然后我刚才问你一个问题，就是说，因为山上的话，我记得卡卓纳他们 ITC 这边它是有提供。免费的置物柜的，就是每个人都有自己免费置物柜，所以你不需要把你的装备扛上山下山，你就直接丢在山上的置物柜就可以了。哦，那、这个超棒的。And、um, if they do have their own equipment, then I'd say bring that with them. And if it's not right, then we can always try and make adjustments, or they can sell it and buy other stuff. You know, there's options there. Um, and the biggest thing, the biggest mistake that we have that people make every single year is they'll buy gear before they come.、Um, if they don't have something, they'll buy it. Particularly with more so with skis and ski boots than anything,、oh, um, yeah. and they will turn up and it's just not right. It doesn't fit right, and it's just not going to help them. But they bought it because it was cheaper elsewhere. Yeah. That's and then they end up costing themselves a lot more because then they end up realizing it when they get here and understand things better and spending more to replace it. Hmm. Oh, he just talked about a very important question, which is that many people are going to go to the training and they will buy gear from Taiwan or 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 from Taiwan. 结果一去参加训练，发现哎，好像不是很合适，鞋子不太合脚。然后他们要去调鞋，那其实鞋子不合脚，我们有一些文，我们之前有文章有写过，当你的鞋鞋不合脚，尤其是过大的时候，其实是很难去调的。它基本上就是不不适合你，那你就只能买新的。那这样的话，你就会花更多钱。所以他会建议说，你如果不是很确定你自己的脚型，你要穿怎么样的鞋子，或者是。呃，你需要用到什么样的板子？那就是建议你到那边再去买。当然，那边也有调鞋的店可以去帮你做调鞋。如果你旧的鞋子你自己穿得很舒服了，只是有一点不舒服的话，对。然后，如果你呃，如果你的东西不适合带过去，他们也会可能就是你也可以二手的卖给便宜的卖给其他的他们的员工之类的。那他们的员工很多，所以。应该是买得掉。我之前就卖过一双雪鞋，<笑>对，也是卖给他们的员工。他们也有 options 拍卖。对。啊、oh, uh, ，sorry。呃 ，no， I I just said， uh， I just， um， 啊，拍卖。他们说哪里也可以拍卖，把东西卖掉。没错。啊、uh, ，我之前。Yeah， uh， sorry， I just， I was just talking and tell them how to deal with the， um， not inappropriate equipment， but、uh, I'm done already. Yeah. Yeah, that's all good.、Um, probably the only other thing I'll say on equipment is that if they do end up buying, for example, boots here, then the shops means they can go back as many times as they want and get the,、mm. get the changes made to them, and it doesn't cost.、Um, so yeah, it, again, we don't own the shops or anything; they're completely independent. They're just really good at helping people that、mm. are on our courses because they know that 
they're spending a lot of time in their gear and it's important that they have it right. So yeah. Yeah, true. 呃，这个我可以讲一下，就是他们就是呃，在瓦纳卡那边的他们的，如果你们你是滑 ski 的话，可以特别注意一下，因为 ski 的鞋子大家都知道会比较硬，然后需要很多的调整。如果你需要你的鞋子是非常的合脚的话，那我之前有也有买在那边买过，然后我的调鞋是调了两个月吧，连续两个月，然后我基本上就是滑个两三天，觉得不舒服就会去调。那这个。他就去帮你调，那我是在那边买的，所以他的售后的这一两个月的调鞋都是免费的服务。所以如果你需要一双非常，如果你是滑双板，你需要非常一双非常适合你脚的鞋子，那我会很建议在那边买，因为这两个月里面，这一两个月里面，你一边滑行一边训练，然后一边去调整你的。鞋型这样的话会是最适合、最完美的状态，因为调鞋这个东西，他们比如说你呃鞋子窄了，呃买的比较窄，那他去打往外打或往外磨的话，如果他一次磨太多的话，那那不是又变宽了？那你宽了的话是没办法变窄的，所以他们调鞋师基本上都会一点一点一点的去调整，所以这是需要很多时间跟很多次数的去调整，才能达到一个最完美的状态。Um. So, um, yeah, we <laughs> we're done. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's it, really. Um, yeah, and of course, if people have questions, then they can always ask. So happy to help if I can. Yeah. 好的，那我们今天就差不多到这里吧。如果有什么问题，可以随时问。然后就是，如果大家有有兴趣去参加这个考试的，也当然就是非常欢迎跟我们说。没错，对，好吧，那我们今天就这样吧。耶、yeah. okay. ，拜拜。So we are done. Thank you, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye, yo yo. Bye, thank you. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you. Hopefully, see you soon.